Hi there and welcome back to Grey Matter Office 365 Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Bookings, which is the latest uh, feature of Office 365. It's still early days, but I'm hoping that this is going to be a really great breakthrough from Microsoft in regards to taking bookings and managing uh, calendars and your staff a lot easier. So for the moment, we can create a booking page and we can choose different colors, we can choose different features, different time increments as well, uh, email notifications. Uh, we can keep records of all of our customers as well. We can import customers and we can create all of our staff, what they do, what their roles are and the different services that we could uh, advertise uh, how long it takes, what sort of price we're looking at, and also uh, what staff, uh, everything about the service that we're offering to make it more easier for our customers to see what we do. Uh, we can also change things like um, the different services that we offer, so we can create a new one, and we can type in different descriptions around the service, what the customer needs to do around that, we could add locations so the customers can find out where the service is being held, how long it takes. We can set these cool things called buffers as well, so depending on how much time we need to set up and put stuff away. And then also we can choose the various different aspects of the service, how much it costs, very pricing, please call us for example. We can add internal notes for our staff just in case. And we could also change the different scheduling policies and we can also assign staff to those services just in case anyone isn't able to do the service or isn't trained up to do that. Once we've saved, we can then publish that. So this is what it would look like afterwards. So the customer would select the service. They would also select the times and dates and the um, the service people to do that. And then they, they have the option to enter their, their end user uh, details as well. So they pop in their email address, their phone number and their address which is optional um, and then they can pop in their own specific notes to say what type of, um, in this scenario we've got cats so they could say what, what type of cats they've got um, and then that's all booked in. Uh, so then what happens is that I would get notified when somebody has made a booking and then as well as that I can then also now see that within the diary as well so that has now been booked in with Ryan. And then you also see that that customer has now been added to the contacts.